beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. And if you're new here, my name is Mel. I make videos every single Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world. Now, this week is a continuation on from the full moon in Sagittarius, which if you didn't catch last week's episode, it was kind of a really big deal because we're kind of in the finishing up end period of the eclipse that actually began in January at the beginning of this year. So this is kind of like, I don't know, it's just a really, really fabulous time. Anyway, so this week is from June the 24th until the 30th. We're actually going through three phases of the moon. The first one we have the disseminating moon and the affirmation for this is, I am so happy and grateful for all the blessings in my life. I give and receive abundance from a place of love. So this is from Monday. Then on Tuesday, we have the last quarter of the moon. And the affirmation is, I am so happy and grateful for everything I have achieved this month. It's been a lot of work and I know my future self will thank me for it. I breathe with ease and finish up any outstanding tasks. So this is from Tuesday to Friday. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we have the balsamic moon. And your affirmation is, I am so happy and grateful for this wonderful opportunity to disconnect from the world and just be. I reflect with gratitude and take time to rest. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know that those affirmations are a little bit more longer winded because what I have noticed is it's just like a single word or the shorter affirmations that I had didn't really fit because there's so many different aspects in which we fit into each of the different eight phases of the moon. Anyways, if you're new to the MK Love fam and this is your first time watching, make sure you hit the subscribe and most importantly, turn on the bell. That way I'm gonna pop up in your newsfeed. If you don't, then chances are you're gonna miss these episodes because YouTube isn't sending them out to everyone unless you have that bell turned on. FYI. All right, let's get going. So it's kind of a lot going on. We had, yeah, I'm not going to go into it. All right. What I'm going to show you is this is a Shadowscapes Tarot. This is what I'm going to be using to give a general reading for all of the different signs of the Zodiac. So first of all, let's see what we need to know overall for the focus of this week. One card angels, please. Oh, ah, okay. So we have the three of pentacles. This is about the support systems, the right, surrounding yourself with the right people. As you know, from last week, we were talking about, you know, you've figured out the direction and where you want to go and you've been able to make it an informed decision and things are becoming a lot um, clear. <laughs> What's that song? I can see clearly now the rain has gone gonna be a bright, 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 bright sunshiny day. So now that you're finding, you know, you're seeing this bright sunshiny day is coming towards you, which is kind of exciting because I'm praying that this week we have some sun in England. Um, so this is finding the right people who have this beautiful, bright, illuminating light. Who are the people that are supporting you up? This could be one person. This could be someone in your family. This could be a friend. This could be, uh, I don't know, a business associate or someone that you met online. Um, this is finding the right people because as you're going into a new chapter, as we begin in July, which is crazy, that happens next week. As we go into July, that's when we have a brand new eclipse season beginning. And it kind of gets a little tricky because on the 7th of July, that's when Mercury retrograde, which is the planet that rules communication, technology, and travel, kind of shows you what you have missed. And things can get a little tricky. <laughs> um, okay. So this week is all about the right, surrounding yourself with the right type of people. Ooh, this is interesting. All right, let's see what we need to know for Monday, which is the disseminating moon. I give and receive abundance from a place of love. Let's see what you need to know. Oh, that was very gentle. Ah, the six of cups. Okay. <laughs> give and receive. So this is more like childlike energy. We had this two weeks ago when we had... It was in the action phase of the moon, just when we had the new moon in Gemini. 
So the Six of Cups is a beautiful card. It's all about finding that childlike innocence. So it's like, who can you surround yourself with, if we go back to the Three of Pentacles, that isn't always just like so serious. They have like the balance of like, you know, the childlike innocence. This is an opportunity. Who this could be giving to yourself in terms of like, I have a really bad pain now on this side. So this is the third eye, so your intuition. How do you find, okay, so how do you, how are you able to pay attention to what's like the cosmic downloads or that your angels are trying to give you or signs and synchronicities? The angels are saying you need to play a lot more. In terms of the giving and the receiving, this could be you hosting people over for a dinner party. This could be you, I don't know, making yourself, uh, I don't know, a banana bread. I don't know, what did you used to do when you were a child? You used to make banana bread and then lick the batter? <laughs> um, is this you like making, digging in the sand and making, I remember when I, was in a, when I was a kid, we used to dig in the sand and make like our own seats and get the palm fronds and put the palm fronds all the way around. We're under like two meters of um, sand. We used to dig really, really deep and all of our cousins used to like sit around the outside and we'd be digging for hours and hours. We'd only go back to our parents when we were hungry. <laughs> I don't know, what does this look like for you? Three of Pentacles is like pure positive energy, doing things that make yourself feel good. But this is also, because I had the pain here, this is also about you being in this receptive mode. Think of it as tuning into the right radio station. You know, if it's feeling a bit fuzzy and you're like, you can't hear and it's a bit static, then you're on the wrong station. So this is helping you get to the right station. How do you do that? Things that make you feel good. What did you used to do when you were a child? Just play, dancing in the living room. Then if you follow um, my beautiful friend, DM Love on Instagram, she's um, the creative director for hooplovers.tv. You know, she dances every single day in her underwear on Instagram. And, you know, she's like, ah, like, this makes me feel good. All it takes is one minute to shift. Okay, let's go on to Tuesday. I breathe with ease and finish off any outstanding tasks. No need to start anything new. You're coming to the end. Oh, wow, the magician. This is interesting. It's like you have the magic, you have the power. If you feel like you're never going to get it done, just do your best and do what you can, knowing that, you know, if you had this big plan of everything that you were meant to do and you only did half of it, but what you did was actually really fabulous work and you're truly proud of yourself, don't like get angry at yourself. Knowing that you have the power to work your magic, work smarter and not harder, play more. Like, it's interesting to me, I had this task set in this phase of the, in this month basically in this moon cycle to be like okay i need to get this task done i've been putting it off for six months and i knew that i you know one of those things where you're like oh i'll do it i'll do it but it was using brain power every time i remember and i'd like scold myself going mel you need to do this you need to do this and then i started playing around with this card like the six of cups more childlike energy and not having as much structure as like an adult would I did the task in one day within eight hours. And I had planned for over the month to do four, what was that, four threes of 12, 12 hours a week. 12 hours a week for about three weeks. And I got it done in eight hours. It's so interesting when you change things up. So the magician is like, work your magic. How does this magic look like for you? The possibilities. Interesting, I never really read the Magician card like that. All right, let's see what we need to know. But the Magician could also be like working a magic to manifest. Maybe you haven't um, manifested, I don't know, this is infinite, pure positive energy. C could you manifest that what you need to be done gets done in a different way that you never expected? Because that's what happened to me. I don't know. I don't know how this looks like for you in your life. Let's go into Wednesday, still breathing with ease. Finish off any outstanding tasks and you breathe with ease. Wednesday, please. What do we need to know? One card. Oh. 
Did any flip? Oh, there's a lot that flipped. Oh, there's too many. Let's try that again. Angels, one card for Wednesday, please. Nope, they want to give me two. I'm going to pull the one that was like running away first and then we'll pull the other one closest to me. <laughs> you won't believe it. The flipping two of pentacles, which is the card that we've been having for what, six months now? And then the other card, ah, oh, the nine of pentacles. That's beautiful. Okay. Two of pentacles is like balancing everything. And it's interesting because remember I said with the magician, you know, don't scold yourself if you haven't finished everything that you had planned to do. Things that you needed to do were divinely orchestrated and they came in a way in which felt best for you as you were taking inspired action as you're going through all of that. Then the nine of pentacles is, it's just laying back and it's just like, um, I heard a very faint, I could hear a song coming in, but then I, I can't hear the rest of it now. But to me, this card is like you are just playing and like she's playing the piano, but what does the playing the piano look like for you? Think of it in terms of like things that make you feel good, things that make you feel abundant. So what are you doing that makes you feel abundant? I think of this as like, think of it as like the tree has grown, has grown through the piano, but the, the, um, just got distracted. I saw the neighbors outside. Think of it as like the tree has grown through the piano, but the keys are still in tune. So there's been contrast, but you're just, you're working with it and you're like, bring it on. You know, I've got this, this lovely armor on my body right now and I can handle anything that has been thrown my way. I'm finding the balance because I'm not allowing those little things which used to upset me to infiltrate so deep down that I store it for years and years and years. You're kind of like, oh, I've done that before. It doesn't work. How does this fit with the support? Maybe you have somebody around you that's helping you like being your cheer, like you're cheering yourself on, but sometimes it's nice to have other people to cheer you on as well. How do we go back to the support system? The balance of maybe somebody else is helping you out and maybe they're helping you out in terms of like your love languages. Have any of you read that book, The Five Love Languages by Gary someone? What's his name? Oh, Gary Chapman. There we go. Okay, so this is like maybe the, these people that are supporting you are the people that actually understand your love languages. If you, I've made a video about it, so check it out right here. So there's five different types of love languages. There's words of affirmation, there's acts of service, there's receiving gifts, there's quality time and physical touch. When I have my, um, when my coaching clients sign on, I give them this test to figure out how do they receive love. So when I'm working with them, I'm making sure that I am, um, I am, I'm supporting them the best way I possibly can. So these people in terms of like your support, however these people are, they understand your love languages. They understand how you work. They understand your direction. They understand you as a person. And those people are very, very special. However this looks like for you in your life, I'm not really sure. But you have been able to persevere and to work through everything that you have gone through for the last six months and you're at so abundant, like you have this beautiful stained glass window, you have the star there, the star is like guiding you. Think of it as in, oh, it's interesting because it's the yellow, which is the solar plexus, the personal power, but then it's filled with purple, which is the intuition or the crown chakra. And then you've got the green, which is the heart. So there's like intuition, there's making decisions from a place of love, but there's also knowing that you deserve everything that you have ever possibly imagined. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> All right, let's see what we need to know for Thursday. We're still in the waxing, oh, half moon. Oh, okay, interesting, the three of cups. Wow, this is a lot to do with support and teamwork. Ah, so maybe you're working smarter and not harder is actually getting other people to help you. How does this help look like for you? So we've got, the focus of this week is the three of pentacles. And now we have the three of cups. 
you're all <laughs> then that said we're all in this together this together what's her school of rock school of high school musical <laughs> what's the lyrics it's so lame but oh my gosh we're all in this together and it shows where we stand hand in hand, make our dreams come true. So you're finding the right people that are helping you make your dreams come true because there's only so much that you can do. Like for me, there's so many areas where I'm like, I am fabulous at this and others I'm like, okay, I need help and I need assistance with that. And that's why like last year, Obviously, yeah, last year, that's when I was like, oh, I'm so good at what I do, you know, doing my private readings when I had um, clients for tarot readings. I'm like, but I'm so good, but I don't understand the business side and I need help with that. And that's when I manifested this fabulous course um, that I took it change my whole life. It's like, okay, the three of cups is like the teamwork, finding someone else that has the results in which you've got. Then you go to them as a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a trainer, I don't know, whatever this looks like for you, finding someone that can help you. Oh, this is amazing. So you're figuring out, because last week you're figuring out what exactly you wanted when we ended on, what was it, like the Eight of Cups? And now you're kind of getting to the stage. But we're still in this phase of the, like this cycle of the moon. It's not something brand new. I think you've kind of figured out where you want to go. You've found the right people or you've kind of started to manifest things in which you're going to act upon come July. Itchy nose, itchy nose. What does itchy nose mean? Um, healing alchemy. Is it? Um, what's the name? Or is it alchemy? Alchemy of healing, causes and symptoms. Louise on hate. Every time I'm I find a symptom, I look at the metaphysics. The metaphysics guide that I use is in the very back of Louise L. Hayes' book, You Can Heal Your Life. So let's have a look at nose so we can figure out more about what is going on. N, N, N. Nose represents self-recognition. Is there an itchy nose? Nosebleeds, runny nose, stuffy nose, self-recognition. Okay, so you know that you can't do this by yourself and that you are looking for other people for help and guidance. Oh, really itchy. There's nothing to say itchy, really? Okay. All right, let's see what we need to know now for Friday, which is still, still in the last quarter. We need to know. This is interesting. I love how each week is so different. Friday, please. Oh, okay. One, and then there's two extra cards. We'll see if I need them. So for Friday, ow, oh, okay. The Eight of Pentacles, amazing. It's like, yeah, you have done the hard work. You're breathing with ease. You're looking back and you're like, I have done this, 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 this. In terms of... It's a breathing with ease, so you should be proud of where you're at, but this is a massive accomplishment. The Eight of Pentacles is a pretty big deal. This is like, think of it in terms of the life of a spider, and he's found all these little um, insects, and he's like wrapped them all up in all of these beautiful webs. But he's like, you know, I'll choose when I want to eat it, you know, I'll choose when I feast. Um, let's see the other cards. What the flip? And both of these cards are next to each other. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. What? And Justice. So we had Justice two weeks ago. The Wheel of Fortune is like <laughs> infinite possibilities. I always think of the Wheel of Fortune as in like the, the show where you like pull the wheel down. It's like, what am I going to win? You're going to win everything, you know? And that fit in with the Eight of Pentacles. So you've done the groundwork which we already know we've been working on ourselves internally, especially a lot from April when things really shifted for us when we had the last Mercury retrograde and justice is restoring the imbalances in your life. This is karma. Remember, there's a lot of planets that are in retrograde. One of them is um, Saturn retrograde. No, Saturn retrograde. Yeah, Saturn retrograde, which is from the 25th of April until April, until the September the 18th. 
Saturn is a lord of karma. Retrograde motion is a time of karma which is sorted out. Therefore, Saturn retrograde is a double dose of karma. Karma is a form of energy that is very real. Like Saturn, it is very closely bound to time. I feel like things like things are really going to shift. It's like you're just about to, to pull, um, to press the golden buzzer and it's like, whoa, you know? Holy flip. Okay, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's see what we need to know for Saturday. Ah, I'm at 22 minutes. Okay. Saturday. I have to be quick because my camera cuts out at 29. Saturday, please. Are you blah, 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 blah. And now I'm getting a pain in my solar plexus, the personal power. What do we move in on Saturday? The balsamic moon, resting. Ah! Let's try that again. Do we need to know for Saturday, please, angels? One card for my MK Love fam for the balsamic moon. There we go. Three cards. Interesting. Remember, like a couple of weeks ago, when we had the new moon in Gemini, it was like two, 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 and now we're getting three. So I'm gonna pull the first one. Ah, the tower, which we know we're reflecting on the shit that hit the fan. Okay. Ah. And then we have the death card, which is rebirth, the phoenix rising, the massive transformation. And then we have the 10 of cups, which is bliss. It's absolutely blissful. It's that, oh, it's just freeing. It's liberating. It's bliss in terms of your emotional health, in terms of your spiritual health. So you've, you've actually, this week, you really need to focus on surrounding yourself with the right types of people. You're reflecting back from when we had the tower card, which I think was in the new moon in Gemini, but we've had that so much this year. The last six months, I've seen the tower card at least four or five times. Death. I don't like the way that it's written. I think this, I think on the tarot, it should be written as rebirth. It's a massive transformation. You, in, you probably don't even recognize who you were six months ago. I totally don't. I didn't expect all of the stuff that, that has happened to, to pan out the way in which it has, but I'm so happy and grateful for it. It's shown me things that I have missed. It's shown me what I need to strengthen, what I need to heal. All right, Saturday. Oh, that came out pretty, pretty quick. Uh -huh. Okay, so the Nine of Swords. Look at his chest. He has all of these different markings. That's all like the... That's all the pain in which he has healed. He's looking back. He's reflecting back and he's like, wow, I am so happy and grateful that I chose me. I'm so happy and grateful that I listened to my intuition. And I'm so happy and grateful for the progress that I have made. This last moon cycle, this last... Four weeks, I have changed so much. I have learned, I have healed, I have surrendered. Things have been different. You know, it's a lot more childlike innocence, a lot more playing this month, a lot more working smarter and not harder. And sometimes you don't need to have all of the schedules and blah, 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 because sometimes you just need to just be. Sometimes you need to just stay in your pajamas all day long until five o'clock. <laughs> which was me quite a lot last couple of weeks. But I'm like, you know, I just need to just be because I know come July, things are going to ramp up and I need to have my energy and I need to be able to listen to the cosmic downloads that are coming towards me because I know everything is working out. We are, we're about to hit the flipping golden buzzer, you know, we're about to get to that stage. I don't know if any of you watched the golden buzzer from, what is it? Um, Britain's Got Talent. Um, if you just type in golden buzzer, Britain's got talent, you'll see all the most spectacular moments. Like we're about to hit it. Like the golden buzzer is about to be like, boom. Maybe you've already got your golden buzzer. For some of you, you may have. I feel like for a majority of you, it hasn't come yet, but you, you can feel it coming. Maybe you're seeing things manifest in terms of the physical realm. Maybe you're feeling in terms of the emotional. Well, you're definitely feeling in terms of emotional because last week we had the queen and the king of cups. All right, my loves. Amazing, amazing week. Surround yourself with people that truly are invested when you're 
think of it in terms of I surround myself with think of the people when you were at your lowest you know who was there for you to give you a, you know a FaceTime call and be like are you all right Dylan are you okay you know because those people are rooting for you no matter what there's no ego attachment to be like I'll only be friends with you when you're succeeding and you know think about those people I'm sure there's only like a handful no more than a handful or if you've got more than a handful then you are beyond blessed but you only need a few a few good ones stick with them because they're going to be here to raise you up wow thank you my love thank you so much if you've made it to this far in the video i truly appreciate you being here if you join me on the live chat i appreciate you more than you ever know as you keep coming back and i kind of love the energy of our kind of our little mk love fam during that time i'm in my pajamas with my blue light glasses on in my bed with my laptop writing back to you um, when my husband is usually asleep so oh, it's just amazing I'm so excited for you and if you watch the replay and you have left a comment I will make it a priority to give you a little heart um, which will probably be the next episode because I always kind of give you the hearts just before I do the live chat for the next one which is usually around like 10 o'clock um, British Standard Time on Sunday anyways thank you so much for joining me have an amazing week wherever you are in the world please take time to surround yourself with people that actually give a flip about you and rest and reflect journal out all of the pain that has happened and for some of you that if your menstrual cycles are in sync with the moon you'll be preparing yourself to bleed you start your day one of your cycle um yeah you probably notice as you, by the end of the week you'll start to like um draw in there'll be a lot more introspection yeah Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you next week. I love you, I love you, I love you.